Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a, a Tuesday, 11.07 a.m. California time here, November 5th, 2024. It is election day, so get out there and vote. Latest activity here is a 2.6 earthquake there across the area of Alaska. My voice is still a little on the crackly side, so I'm going to try to get through this the best I can. Uh, Hawaii, seeing a little bit of earthquake activity this morning as well with a 4.8 earthquake. Now that is part of the ongoing earthquake swarm here that's been uh, pretty, much, pretty much studied since about uh, the early, well, the late 60s, I would say. Uh, it's just an ongoing event that takes place underneath this area into the deeper regions here of the magma system uh, with this hot spot that uh, Hawaii is. And uh, a lot of times we'll see things uh, start to get uh, elevated, elevated in terms of volcanic activity following these deeper, larger quakes. So we'll continue to watch that. Uh, but that was a 4.8 earthquake, 23 miles deep. Now, even though it was fairly deep, it was still felt across the populated areas there of the big island of Hawaii. Uh, I noticed they did put uh, their instruments back online. Let me back out of here real quick and bring up the monitoring data for Kilauea Volcano. Uh, as you can see there, this is the past two days of inflation, electronic tilt. But uh, in reality, this almost looks like it did before it went offline. Uh, basically not uh, giving off the right information here. This It just looks like they put it back online with the same data that was here before it went offline. Uh, meaning that uh, there's not accurate information coming in here uh, into these graphs. It's weird. Uh, because it looks like it went offline here back in uh, early October, around the 13th or so, um, with no measurable data. I, I know it's not flatline like that, so uh, that leads me to believe here that uh, these are not fixed. They may be online, but the accuracy here of the data coming in through the instruments that monitor the tilt, the inflation, is offline here. It's not uh, giving out the uh, accurate information. Uh, so just have to wait. Hopefully they fix it. Uh, let's go ahead and check out uh, some tilt meters out there, uh, seismograph stations here. If we're online, we are, but they're, what's going on here? All of a sudden, my uh, thing froze. All right. So that 4.8 happening well south of Kilauea Volcano. I do want to check a couple different seismograph stations, see what we have locally going on. There's that 4.8 striking early this morning there. Uh, again, underneath this area, a couple localized earthquakes here across the area of Kilauea Volcano, but really nothing of any major concern. I'm not seeing anything of elevated seismic activity out here. And um, a glance here at the summit area of Kilauea Volcano, Lava Lake, showing quite a bit of steaming out there, but uh, if it's colder, if the environment is colder out there, we'll see that steam uh, really start to materialize and get that condensation going on. It's almost always leaking uh, some type of uh, volcanic gases and whatnot, some vapors, but it uh, looks a little bit more active today, probably due uh, to the uh, weather out there. <clears throat> All right, so let's move on past here real quick. Uh, for California, anything above 2.5? Negative. Looks like uh, off the coast here, Baja, California, a little 2.8 from this morning. 2.5 here across the Utah, Arizona border. Aside from that, general small microquake activity out here today. No major swarming going on. Uh, really, actually, uh, looks like any typical day out here in Cal California for now. A lot of this activity from yesterday. Uh, nothing major going on here through the Pacific Northwest or the Inner Mountain West regions as uh, things look a little quiet out there uh, for this Tuesday, right? Tuesday, 11 11. The time that is. Yellowstone National Park, nothing showing up there across the area for now. Uh, pretty quiet. I see one little earthquake, it looks like, right about here. Uh, but that's not even uh, anything to discuss here. It's just a very small microquake, I believe, um, somewhere around the region here, but not a whole lot shown up here on the USGS map. 
goodness, this is so irritating. If anyone's been sick here recently and lost her, lost her voice, uh, they'll know what I'm talking about here. Goodness. Uh, oil fields out there in Texas still getting hit outside of San Antonio as well. Uh, as far as any major earthquake activity goes overnight, got some deeper movement quakes here into the Kamchat Kuril Kamchatka Trench. 5.3, look at that quake right there. Underneath the Sea of Osk area, 358 miles deep. Goodness, I'm continuing to watch this area, folks. The, uh, the subduction zone, very lengthy subduction zone. And it's been a little while since we've seen any major mega quake activity out here. And it's very capable, folks. I've seen uh, some large damaging earthquakes out here. And um, we've seen more deeper earthquake activity out here in this area than we have a surface adjustment. So another deep activity contribu contributing to the strain out here for some further large-scale earthquake activity. Uh, Alaska area. Couple twos out there, even some threes out there around the Cook Inlet area. Uh, aside from that, looks like any typical day out there across the Alaska region as well. Uh, New Zealand, pretty quiet. Some older movement from yesterday. A lot of red color rings here on the globe indicating uh, older earth earthquake activity from yesterday. Really not seeing anything of any major uptick right now uh, as far as today's time frame goes. Uh, but still early in the day, right? somewhat we can still have uh, any type of earthquake activity take place out here it's it seems to be coming in waves and uh right now it's just a little quiet a couple threes out there around the u.s virgin islands region of puerto rico puerto rico trench but uh, overall not uh, anything major uh, space weather activity here starting to sizzle a little bit uh, with some in flare activity it looks like here in the last few hours a number of M flares here. Uh, nothing in the X flare category yet on the solar chart. But uh, let's see what we got here from these sunspots today. 3883, a culprit of a couple M flares here recently. Uh, still fairly complex. We're going to have to watch that area. It does harbor some potential uh, for some X flare activity. Uh, also, this regional sunspot back here as well. Uh, the rest of these areas really not too concerned with but uh, keep an eye on this regional sunspot group as uh it does harbor some x flare probability 35 percent chance there as seen in x flare m flare at 80 c flare around 99 percent chance or so and uh let's see no major roars in the forecast maybe a little bit of uptick here um in the coming nights maybe tomorrow night looks like here Goodness, <clears throat> sounds like I've been screaming or something at a concert, but that's not the case. This is crazy. About eight days now of uh, trying to get this out of my system. So tomorrow night potentially could see some roars out there across the higher latitudes, but really not counting on much. That's just from a, a little glancing blow that uh, was produced over here on the far side uh, recently. Uh, Eastern limb, I should say. Uh, that may give us a little little hit there of, of uh, space weather activity tomorrow night. Uh, aside from that, Storm Prediction Center, they added a slight risk category here for severe weather across Louisiana. Got a 5% chance for some tornado activity there, along with a 2% extending further north. Heads up there in that area if you're out there today. And watch out for some tornado activity. As uh, far as down the road goes, we're going to have to watch this because severe weather is going to be lingering around the area here as we head towards the weekend. As we put this model into motion here, uh, looking like another line of storms here across the area of Oklahoma, Texas, Kansas area. Same areas that just got hit with the uh, severe weather activity here recently. Going to get uh, some more. Uh, a little hurricane activity potentially down there in the Gulf of Mexico. Um hard to say though on if this is going to strengthen or not but it could add to the moisture of this low pressure system so we'll watch that as we get a little bit closer here uh, to the weekend time frame uh, some more rain out there for california bigger storm it looks like as we head towards early next week i'm very hopeful for that we need the rain and um, yeah it looks to be a continuous deal out there with storm after storm hitting the california area as we dig deeper into november all right, folks, I got to keep this short. Um, 
it's just one of those things here where I'm trying to get this out of my system. Um, I'm not really coughing as much. My coughing has almost completely died away, but it now it's just my my voice box. My my voice is being affected from something. So it's a little weird. Normally that's typical bronchitis, but I don't have anything that's uh that I'm I'm not really coughing. I'm not coughing anything up. My lungs are fairly clear. Um it's just my voice really weird. I think someone put a spell on me here. Goodness, I got to counter counteract that spell. All right, I'm out of here folks. I can no longer talk. I'm going to have to use a uh, <laughs> someone mentioned using a uh, a robot voice chat on here to do the updates. Yeah, that's not going to happen. I'll be on here one way or the other. Even if Missy Mimi's has to jump on, do updates, see if it gets worse. But I think it's, hopefully I'm at the end of it. All right, I'm out of here. Don't forget to vote. I'm going to go down, vote in person here in a few minutes. And, um, you know, make sure every vote counts out here. Whether, it doesn't matter who you're voting for. The main thing is we have the freedom to vote. And uh, I will do that. I will do my part in the process here today. Hope everyone else does as well. We'll see you guys back out here a little bit later on this evening, folks. Unless something major happens out here. Just never know. Have a good one.